I was blessed this weekend. Uh, went to my grandfather's house who passed away about 18 months ago. And we've been able to go through and put our names on stuff, you know, and it's being distributed through the family trust. I was lucky to be able to get this saw and really didn't know what it was at first. The only identification mark I could see on it initially was the uh, the one uh, carriage screw that says, or carriage bolt, that says warranted superior. But I started to look at it, realized, you know, it's got a great, you know, it's got a beautiful patina on it. It's got uh, a lot of buildup of sap on it. Somebody hadn't cleaned this tool very well after they'd used it. But I looked at the teeth, and it's a it's a real cross-cut saw. Now, it's not, you know, those multiple concave grinds, but it is a real cross-cut saw. Somebody actually pushed the teeth out a small amount, as you can see here. It's got rakers on it. And I was looking at it, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'll take it home, take a look at it. Well, as I'm looking it over before I start cleaning or taking it apart or anything, I realize I, I see something small. I'll show you guys a couple of shots of that. Very slightly, all I can see is a wreath. If anybody knows what this is right now, you win uh, a, a virtual pat on the back. You know, um... But if you do have it, I would like to hear what it is. I'll go ahead and do this in, uh, I'll do this in two parts. Any of you guys who follow, you know, some of these guys who are getting really good at this stuff, uh, specifically, you know, Cody over at Wrangler Star, you know, it's one of those things, you know, watching him, I was able to take a few things I did know and clear it up, learn a lot of new things, especially some of this knowledge that he's got on where this stuff comes from. So I'm going to go ahead and take my grandfather's saw here and take it, try to get it as best taken care of as I can. The one thing I don't like on it is you can see that it's got a little bit of lacquer on the handle right I think uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with a lot of this stuff, but I'll kind of show you the stuff I'm going to use here to do it with, and then I'll show you a few bits and pieces, and we'll take a look at the end product. The items I'll be using to clean this, I'm going to start off with mineral spirits, try to pull any of that sap or whatever other liquids or contaminants are on the metal itself. Use a screwdriver just to take the uh, handle, separate it from the blade. And then uh, I've got some 400 grit sandpaper and some steel wool. I'm going to be very cautious using those. Only use those on areas where I absolutely have to. But I figured I'd put them up there anyway. Just so that, you know, it's obvious that I didn't do it all with my, uh, with my puck and my honing oil there. Those will be the last ones. And most of my work will actually be done with those. And we'll see what ends up.